Providence game. No letdowns to come in here and do what we needed to do at home and, uh, and really continue to get better as a team, individually, collectively, and uh, just executing the things that we worked on the past couple of days leading up to this game. First time playing TCNJ in 22 years. What was that like? And is are you are you planning to continue? Um, you know what? I don't mind it. I don't mind it if they want to play again. I, I don't mind. I think he has a really good team. I think he's on his way to having a good year. I think they they really do a good job of executing, running their offense. They gave us some um, you know problems on some of the things that they were doing. So again, I don't mind it. It's a local school, you know. So um, if he wants to continue, it, I don't have a problem with doing it. You guys played, you know, just, just pretty cleanly today with um, didn't allow any fast break points, a lot of points in the paint. I mean, was, you know, was that some of the stuff you wanted to see coming off the loss? Yeah, that's one of our uh, six points or less fast break wise is one of our non negotiables. So that was good to see. We gave up a little bit too much at the Providence game. Points in the paint, um, they they had more points the last game than us, and that's something that we wanted to establish. So yes. Those are some of the things that we talked to the guys about, uh, you know, trying to make sure that we focused on those areas tonight. For uh, Brown or Dwight, I mean, um, just coming off the first game, uh, you know, the close loss, uh, how do you think the team responded to today? Um, I think we kept up our energy throughout the whole game. Uh, Defense-wise, I think we could have done better at closing out the three-point line, but other than that, I think we kept it good. Um, I feel like we came out of energy. Um, <clears throat> we was talking more. We knew that we, we had a goal out there to keep them under 50, and that's what we did. You know, came out there and tried to keep them under 50. But like I said, it's a great team out there. They executed really well, I and mean, we had to uh, really talk out there for us to you know, keep them under 50 the whole time. So that's what I think we did. Yeah. Is it is it uh, when you come to a game and want to play really good defense, but obviously the first game you committed like 29 fouls. I mean, is, it, is there a balance there? And you uh, in practice, I guess. Must have worked on uh, just committing less fouls. Yeah, I mean, um, promise game. That was our first game. A lot of nerves going on. So um, I felt like, you know, coach told us that we, that's what we need to work on fouling because now people is going to try to attack us more and uh, you know, just looking for those fouls. And <clears throat> we came in, you know, each day we find something new and we learn from it and we go into practice and that's what we work on every day. That's what we uh, look forward to, not committing a lot of fouls this game. So, coach, do I need to pull to speak on? Uh, having a 15th most experienced team in the country, how can you speak on that and how that actually impacts the game for you guys? Uh, I think experience is always important. Two years ago, I, I tell people we were the second youngest team behind Kentucky. Now you're saying we're the 15th oldest team. Uh, nothing better than experience. Guys that have played a lot of games, been in a lot of different situations. And so they're, this isn't new to them. So they're, they're comfortable. And now it's just a matter of us just putting it all together as a team. You know, because again, we do have some new guys that weren't on this team, and uh, we're still trying to learn one another and just get better and, and you know do the things that we're asking them to do. And they're they're doing it. They're they're doing it, but we can do it better. Um, just having an experienced team. <clears throat> I mean, I played with a lot of new uh, that guys that was on the team last year, so that made it even more better. Like AP, uh, Jerry, Rail, um, Merv. So just knowing how they learn and how to play, and they all the same age as me been playing basketball for a long time, and that's better for just the newcomers and the freshmen, it's just us talking to them and teaching them the game and bass. I've been, you've been playing, been coaching here for like 15 years. So it's just learning just new things every day. You know, uh, we're learning at the same time, even though we are the 15, like, it's been in the uh, college for a long time, being experienced, but we're still learning at the same time. So it's just good that, you know, we suck in and like sports. Yeah. Um, Tyreek, you know, you played the ACC before. Uh, what can you say that's different so far about the gameplay and how that can translate over to the MAC play? Um, honestly, I really don't think there's much of a difference. It's to, it's to, the intensity is up there, so it doesn't matter where you play at college. It's always going to bring a game every day. It doesn't matter where you play at. Um, and with Providence, stellar like post defense and their inside interior defense being one of the top in the country last year, how does it finally feel to finally get into the groove of it in today's game going forward? Um, Honestly, it's just fun to be back out there again. You know, I missed my first two years because of injury, but it's just fun to be back out there and play again. Is it, uh, is, you know, is it good to have a game like this where you can, you know, obviously 
give guys on the bench a lot of minutes and you've got a lot of bench points today and like you said you're working in some of these new transfers to kind of learn some things about how guys match try different things i mean is it good to have a game like this for you? yeah it is it is it's good to have a home game it's good to uh have this type of game again not sliding them by no means because they're a good team and uh but it was good to be at home it's good to get another game under our belt going to this tournament in ireland and Playing the Stetson team that beat Florida State, so we got our we got our work cut out for us. And then, you know, uh, Central Arkansas is our next opponent, who I think is a good team as well. So, any anytime you can get more experience and more games under your belt to go and get ready for this tournament, uh, is certainly ways to our favor. That's good. All good. Thank you.